So you might have installed multiple ROS1 or ROS2 distributions on your computer, or maybe you plan to do that in the future, and you are wondering, will it break anything? And how to deal with multiple distributions? Well, I'm going to give you the answers to these questions right now. First of all, you can open a terminal and go to slash opt slash ROS. And this is where you will see all of the distributions that you have installed, whether it is a ROS1 distribution or a ROS2 distribution. So in my specific case, I am running on Ubuntu 20.04 and I have installed ROS1 Noetic and ROS2 Foxy. So you can see the two distributions right there. And first good news, this is absolutely not a problem. You can have as many ROS1 and ROS2 distributions installed on your computer. This is not the problem. The problem will be how you use them. So great, now that you know all of the distributions installed on your computer, let's go to the bash RC. So we are going to the bash RC from your home directory. And let's go to the end. So you might have a few lines to source some scripts, some setup.bash script from ROS1 here and ROS2, maybe some lines to source some catkin workspace or some ROS2 workspace. Well, you are going to remove all of them and save the bash SC and close it. Okay, so if you want to run with multiple distributions at the same time, it's best not to mix things up. So I'm closing the terminal and now I'm opening a new terminal. So now nothing should work. If I try to do ROS core not found because I haven't sort ROS noetic. And if I do ROS2 run, ROS2 command not found. So I'm going to source noetic. Source opt ROS noetic setup bash, which means that now I can use ROS core. And let's say that I source also in that same terminal, I source ROS2 foxy. So this will actually work, but you will have a warning message. ROS distro was set to noetic before. Make sure the environment does not mix path from different distributions. Okay, so if you see that message, it means that you have sourced multiple distributions and this is not good. Unless you have specifically planned to do this, for example, when using the ROS1 bridge package, but this is a very specific situation, in any other situation, you should not source two distributions. And if you see that message, well, that's not good. So now that we have sourced both distributions, well, you can just close the terminal because we can't do anything in this. Let's open a new one. Let's actually open two new terminals. In the first terminal, I'm going to source Noetic. Okay, and in the second terminal, I'm going to source Foxy. No problem with that. We have Noetic running here and Foxy running here. So I can do ROS core, for example. I can do ROS2 run, let's say, demo node CPP and talker. So, well, we have a ROS core running on this terminal and we have a ROS2 node running on that terminal. And there is absolutely no error and no problem here. So the general rule when you work with multiple distributions at the same time is to make sure that you only source one distribution in one terminal. And in my example, I have a ROS1 distribution here and a ROS2 distribution here. But let's say that you have two ROS2 distributions installed on your computer. Well, this is the same. You should not source the two ROS2 distribution at the same time. And with this, you have seen that you can make things work if you just source one distribution in one terminal and another distribution in another terminal. But in practice, I will discourage you to do that. In practice, I will encourage you to only use one at a time. So if you're using Noetic, just use Noetic with all your terminals. And if you're using Foxy, just use Foxy with all your terminals. This is the best way so you don't mix things up. And well, what does it mean? Basically, if you want to switch the distribution you are using, you will close all your terminals and all your sessions, and then you will open them again and source the correct version you want to use. You can also use the bash RC as we did before, but in that case, make sure you comment 
the different source lines, okay? So you only source one line. And when you want to switch distribution, you close all your terminals, you go to the bash RC, you comment the line that you don't want, and you uncomment the new line you want to source, and then you can open the terminals again. And with this simple rule, well, you will not have any problem in the future with multiple ROS1 and ROS2 distribution. All right, if you like this video, subscribe to get more tutorials like this in the future, and also check out my online courses to learn ROS2 step by step in an efficient way by practicing and directly going to the point. Links are in the description. Thank you for watching, see you in the next tutorial or in one of my courses.